All right, guys, welcome to Math 0106. We are in Lesson 23. We are going to do our official lesson on PEMDAS, though we've actually already talked about PEMDAS. PEMDAS is just order of operations. Um, actually, the image given here is a good illustration of PEMDAS, so let me just show you that. So down here, we, we have what PEMDAS stands for, which is parentheses, exponents, and roots, apparently. Multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. What we stressed in the last video, and which still holds true in this one, is um, multiplication and division are interchangeable as are addition and subtraction. My advice is if you have any sort of doubt as to the order to which you should do things, um, just go left to right. So uh, if you're not certain, just go left to right in terms of whether to multiply or divide first and whether to add or subtract. Now. Left, I'm not saying go to left right for every single situation, okay? Obviously, you have to follow PEMDAS. So, um, let's now go through and solve some of these problems. So, number one is saying, what is 5 squared? 5 squared means 5 times 5, which is just 25. It's easy as such. Uh, number two, let me write this off to the side, is just 10 squared minus 5 squared, and again, 10 squared is 100, just 10 times 10. 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25. 100 minus 25 is 75. The biggest thing to realize with exponents that sometimes students fall into the trap of is instead of um, m multiplying the number by itself, they tend to multiply 10 by 2 and say 20, or 5 times 2 is 10. And even when they understand what's going on, there's just this natural desire to do that because when we see numbers next to each other, that means to multiply. So be careful with that um, when moving forward, um, just to make sure you don't make a silly mistake. Okay, number three is two to the fourth minus four squared. Now what we, what we notice here is we have two to the fourth, which is two times two times two times two. I think I said four twos but it means you have, you're multiplying four twos together. So we know two times two is four, and four times four, and two times two is four, so four times four is 16. Uh, in time, if you take enough math classes, you tend to end up memorizing this. I like this because I switched the setup and then they have four squared. Four squared is just four times four, which is also 16. Now this is not always the case when you interchange it, they're gonna be equivalent. But in any case, this is zero. Um, Moving right along, let's do number four. We can fit it in here. Uh, number four is two squared minus two times four squared. What the, oh, hold on. Before I go on to number four, let me stress one more thing here. Notice in, when I did this, I did the exponents first and then I subtracted. And you have to do it that way. You can't do, for example, 16 minus four and then take the result and square it. It does not work that way. Um, so you gotta follow PEMDAS. So you'll keep hearing me say PEMDAS, PEMDAS, PEMDAS. Okay, now let's do number four. So what is PEMDAS? PEMDAS is first parentheses, then is exponents. So exponent says we gotta do 12 squared first, which is 144 minus, now here's the tricky part. You need to do four squared first, which is 16. Then PEMDAS says you multiply and divide before you add and subtract. So I need to now do two times 16, which is 32. And subtract that from 144. So 144 minus 32, 4 minus 2 is 2, 4 minus 3 is 1, 1 is by itself, so it's 112, and there's your answer. Let's do the next on the on another page. So the next one we have, number 5, is 2 squared plus 5 squared. So we have to play inside the parentheses first. We have 2 squared, which is 4, so we're left with 4 plus 5 squared. You're going to be able to keep playing with the parentheses. So 4 plus 5 is 9. So we're left with 9 squared. 9 squared is 81. If you thought 18, be careful, right? 9 squared is 9 times 9, which is 81. All right, I'm going to put number 6 here. Let's do number 6 here. Number 6 is 10 plus 2 parentheses 2 minus parentheses 4 minus 3 squared close. Okay, so technically speaking, these things right here are called brackets. Um, I said parentheses, but they're 
they're actually brackets in. They work just like parentheses though, that's why I call them parentheses. Uh, you just do what's in the, it's, just the, it's just after you do parentheses, we like to do brackets to illustrate uh, a differentiation of the symbols. You could actually put them both if you wanted to in parentheses, and that actually would be equivalent as well. So uh, let's keep solving. So four minus three is one, and if you're wondering why I did that there, the reason why is we are doing the innermost parentheses first. So we need to do that first. So now we're going to look inside the brackets, which are like parentheses, and we're going to do follow PEMDAS here. So exponents come first, so we're going to do 1 squared first, which is 1, because 1 times 1 is 1. And then we'll clean it up inside. So 2 minus 1 is 1, so we're left with 10 plus 2 times 1. And then we will do 2 times 1, notice we're doing multiplication first. And then we do addition, which gives me 12. And there's my answer. Moving right along, number seven. Nice situation. I think we've seen this before. When we square a number, we multiply by itself. So this is three times five times three times five. But really, we're just doing three times three, which is nine, and five times five, which is 25. Now, some of you might be turning to be like, Mr. Anderson, you're always telling us to try to divide things out, and that's absolutely true, but there's nothing I can clean up with three and five here. There's no way to cancel those out, so we just are left just to multiply across. Let's go on and do number eight on another page. Let's take a look at number eight. We have, <laughs> this is funny, six minus three minus two minus one, so six minus three is three, three minus two is one, and one minus one is zero. So maybe I should write this out. Six minus three minus two minus one. Six minus three is three. Three minus two is one. And one minus one is zero. And there we have it. Okay, number nine. Number nine is not too bad. We have, let's write it out, four squared minus three squared. Again, you do exponents first, so we have to do the exponents. We'll get 16 minus 9, 16 minus 9 is going to be 5. I'm sorry, 7, because 9 plus 6 is 7. 9 plus 7 is 16, geez. Okay, cool beans. All right, let's move on to the next one. Number 10, 6 squared minus 6. So 6 squared is 36, so this is 36 minus 6, which is... 30. And I want to make a little comment here. You don't have to do this. Um, for, well, the first comment I want to make is that notice I did exponents first before I subtracted because of PEMDAS. But um, there's another way to approach this, and this is to say that 6 squared is 6 times 6, and we're subtracting a 6. So we're subtracting. So if you look here, you have six sixes, and here I have one 6. So it makes sense that I would have, if I have, if I, if I have six groups of six and I take away one group of those sixes, it makes sense that now I only have five groups of six, right? So if I have six groups of six and I take one of them away, I have five left and six times five is 30. Different way of thinking um, kind of builds you up to more advanced math, um, but take note of that. Let's move on to the next one. So the next one is 10 minus 3 times the quantity 6 minus 4. Again, PEMDAS says you do parentheses first. So if we're doing this, we have 10 minus 3 times 6 minus 4. I'm going to play with 6 minus 4 first because that's parentheses. It's going to give me 2. And then I'm going to do 3 times 2 because multiplication is next. So we have 10 minus 6, and to finish it off, just 10 minus 6 is 4. And there you have it. All right, on to the next one, number 12. 8 minus 2 times 3. So 8 minus 2 times 3. Again, PEMDAS says you do multiplication first. So we have 8 minus 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. As easy as that. So I hope as you're progressing through these, you're pausing the video and you're doing these on your own and just comparing your work to mine. Not too bad. 
just got to keep remembering PEMDAS. So PEMDAS has parentheses first. So 4 plus 4 is 8. So I have 3 times 8 minus 7. Multiplication comes next. So 24 minus 7 is going to be... The way I like to do 24 minus 7 is I do... I know 7 is 4 minus 3. Or 7 is 4 plus 3, rather. So I wrote it as negative 4, negative 3. Because this gives me 20... 20 minus 3 is 17. You don't have to do that if you just, you know, your mind just works and you say, hey, Mr. Anderson, that's cool. I just want to do it like this. That's fine as well. Uh, just showing you different ways of thinking. Okay. Cool beans. All right. On to number 14. So number 14, if we follow PEMNOS, we got to play with parentheses first. So we're left with 5. 12 minus 7 is 5. Uh, 7 minus 2 is 5, and then we multiply. Now, so this is something that in time you want to realize. This is obviously 5 times 5 times 5 is the same thing as 5 cubed. We know 5 times 5 is 25, and so if you have 5 quarters, that's a dollar twenty-five, right? So this is just 125. Knowing 5 cubed is 125 in time will make your life a whole lot easier. So keep that in mind. Let's move on to the next one. So we are now on number 15. This is where the game starts to get a little bit more intense. We have 42 divided by 2 to the 4th minus 2 times 5 plus 2 cubed. And again, we have to follow PEMDAS, so we're going to play with the inside first. And in the inside first, we're going to have to do 2 to the 4th, which is 16. We saw that earlier. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Or as I did it, I did 2 times 2 is 4. And then you have another 2 times 2, which is another 4. But those four, four, and four, four by four is 16. Um, minus two times five plus two cubed. As you get comfortable with this, you'll start to do multiple steps at once. And that's okay as long as you're in the back of your head, you're thinking PEMDAS. So why did I bring that up here? Because I really wanted to write just 10 here. Because I know two times five is 10. This is 16 minus 10 plus two cubed divided by 42. Now we can clean up 10, 16 minus 10, which is just 6. So we're left with 42 divided by 6 plus 2 thirds. And now I'm going to clean up 2 thirds. So that's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Watch yourself if you thought 6. Be careful. And then PEMDAS says we got to divide before we add. So we're going to play with those. We're going to do 42 divided by 6, which is 7. We have 7 plus 8. That's 15. And there's our answer. So, um, what I mean by in time is this step, I probably would have just jumped to 16 minus 10. And on this step, I probably would have jumped straight down to here and just done 2 cubed as 8 because I know that the addition is keeping them separated. Um, so, if you're capable of doing more than one step at once, that's fine. Um, but there's no emphasis on doing that. So, if you feel a little overwhelmed by that, just like I did, step by step, and you'll get to the answer just fine. Okay. Let's do the next one, number 16. So this is the square root of 9 plus the square root of 25. So this threw me off a little bit uh, in their explanation of PEMDAS earlier. I don't know. I don't have it here anymore. Um, they, if we look here, they gave us, they wrote it like such, and they put exponents and roots together but the square root i'm going to say the square root of nine the reason why this throws me off and you'll we'll, this is again beyond the scope of this class but i want to expose you to it is the same thing as raising it to the one half power so square roots are the same thing as their exponents they're just written a little differently but uh what how do we approach the square root of nine what this means it's what times itself gives me 9. So 3 times 3 gives me 9. What times itself gives me 25? 5 times 5 is 25. And this gives me 8. And there's your answer. So that's all there is to it. Let's do number 17. Square root 4 times quantity 200 minus 100 divided by the square root of 64 plus 36. That's weird. Gave me that line under. There we go. Okay, 
So again, PEMDAS says we're going to play with the this first. So this is parentheses first. So 100 square root 4 times 100 divided by square root 64 plus 36. Now, the next thing is we need to play with roots or exponents. So the square root of 4 is 2. And for the interest of time, I'm going to play with this. But to play with this, I have to clean this up first. So this is going to give me 100. 64 plus 36 is 100. And then the square root of 100 is 10. So I have 2 times 100 divided by 10. Now, here comes the interesting part. We were multiplying and dividing. And I said, if you're not for certain what the order is, just go left to right. So we're going to go 2 times 100 is 200. And this is going to be divided by 10, which is just means you're going to lose a zero. So it's 20. And there's our answer. This right here really means this, by the way, in case you want to see. When you divide, you draw a lot. You're putting just this piece under. And so you can see here, this divides out and you have 2 times 10, which is 20. And that would be if I divided first. Um, but I, my advice to you, unless you've seen this before and you're comfortable with this, these sorts of questions, the way I did it is the way you want to do it, left to right, left to right. All right, let's do the next one, uh, number 18. So square root 7 minus 4 squared plus... 12 minus 8 squared. Um, for those of you who, who are curious, this right here is actually part of the, is really it's getting you ready for something called Pythagorean theorem. But specifically, this is the distance formula. And so we have values plugged in. So it's kind of getting you comfortable with the format for the distance formula. Um, so that's where that's coming about from. In case I like to, I guess I like to show you guys where things, how things are going to be impactful later on down the road, just because many of you have exposure to other math courses. So it's kind of like, oh yeah, that's where I remember that from. In any case, uh, we do parentheses first. So I'm going to do both these at the same time. So 7 minus 4 is 3. So this is just 3 squared plus 12 minus 4, 12 minus 8, which is 4. So 4 squared. Um, be careful. This technically, you can almost think of this as like a parentheses inside. We want to clean up the inside first before we do anything else. So let's do 3 squared, which is 9. Let's do 4 squared, which is 16. This is going to give me now, like I said, these are technically, think of these as in parentheses. So we're going to do that. 9 and 16 is 25. The square root of 25 is 5. And again, I want to just, not a part of this course, but just to give you an, an idea um, this in particular is if you are going to take trigonometry, um, but this is used actually, uh, let me, this is actually used in college algebra quite frequently as well. If this is three and this is four and you have a right triangle, this is five. And so three, four, five, that's, that's why this becomes five. There is a relationship between, between the points and this triangle. And if you want to know why, let me know in the comments and I'll show you why that's the case. Um, if I show you the case, I'm about to go on a tangent that's going to take us off track. So I'm not going to go down that road unless you want me to. So post a video, post a comment, or post uh, an email if you'd like me to go more in depth into number 18. And I will. Well, let's move on to number 19. Um, 19. So again, we're going to do parentheses first. So we're going to have to add these fractions first. And then we'll subtract them. And actually what I'm going to do here, I want to show you something that's a slick move here. You could do the, you could add the fractions and that's what PEMDAS says, but you actually can multiply this out. So this becomes one fourth this is, just, this is called distribution. This is a negative. Multiply this. This is negative one fourth. This becomes positive one eighth. So what ends up happening? Negative times negative is a positive. That's where that's coming from. So what ends up happening here is the one fourth here and the one fourth here goes away, and we're left with one eighth plus one eighth, which is fantastic because if the denominators are matching, right? We just add the tops. 
So 1 plus 1 is 2. So this is 2 over 8, which reduces to 1 over 4. They're both divisible by 2. And there's your answer. So that was actually pretty easy. Let's jump now to number 20. So number 20 is 2 thirds squared divided by 1 half times 4 ninths. So again, PEMDAS says you got to play with parentheses, so we're going to multiply this. 2 goes into 4 2 times, so this is 2 thirds squared divided by 2 ninths. Next up is PEMDAS is exponents, so we're going to play with this. So this is just squared, which means we're going to square the numerator and the denominator. So 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, so this is 4 over 9 divided by 2 over 9. Now this actually cleans up to be pretty nice. We know when we divide, we multiply by the reciprocal. So this is 4 ninths times 9 over 2. We can see clearly the 9's divide out, and 2 goes into 4 2 times. And so the answer is 2. And there you have it. So 21, we have 3 plus 5 minus 4 squared minus 2 all over 9 minus 2 minus 5. And it is perfectly okay in this situation to clean up the numerator, clean up the denominator, according to PEMDAS, and then divide them. That You'll be fine if you do that. So we're going to clean this up. 5 minus 4 is 1. So the top is just 3 plus 1 squared minus 2. The bottom is just subtraction. So I'm just going to literally go left to right. 9 minus 2 is 7. 7 minus 5 is 2. Um, PEMDAS says now, exponents is the next step for the numerator, the denominator we're done with. So this is going to become 3 plus 1 minus 2 over 2. And then we're going to uh, add the top. So 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. If you permit me, I'm just going to jump straight there. And that's 1. And there we have it. So clean up the tops, clean up the bottoms, divide, and you'll be perfectly fine. Okay, 22. Exciting. On to the very last problem of the entire course. Well, maybe not. Maybe not for you. But in terms of these videos, it is the last problem. I should say maybe not. Maybe you guys will ask me to do more problems. We'll see. Okay. So we're going to clean up the top. I'm going to do... Oh, look at me. I'm jumping to the exponents. I should be parentheses first. So this is going to become 3 on the top, 3 times 2 squared minus 5 squared divided by 5. Now this is interesting on the bottom. This is saying they want us to do 5 plus 7 first, which is 12 plus 2, which would give me 14. So I'm going to put 14 here. It actually doesn't matter. The parentheses doesn't matter. This is a property that you later on, later on learn called the associative property. And the associative property, property basically says whether you do 2 plus 5 first and then add 7 or you do 2, you add 5 and 7 first and then add 2, they give you the same thing. So notice this will give me 7 and 7, which is 14. We just said that this gives me 14. So they actually end up giving you the same thing. And that's, so the parentheses there is actually kind of not important. It's kind of superfluous. But we, we, we put it there. Um, they put it there just to show you that you don't have to add it in any particular order. This is why, like, when I add things, I'm, like, always looking for, like, the quickest way to add them. So, personally, like, in that quest situation, I know 7 and 7 is 14, so I think 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 plus 7 is 14. It's easier. Um, and I could ignore the parentheses because I know that they don't doesn't really affect the, the problem. In any case, that's a little extra. Again, want to emphasize, if you were listening to all that, you're like, oh, that's confusing. Don't stress. Just follow PEMDAS and you'll be fine. Okay. So, now, let me deal with the squares. So I have 3 times 4 minus 25 divided by 5. Very, very, very important. Be careful. A lot of you may want to say 5 squared is 10. So watch yourself there, right? Next up is going to be uh, multiplication division. I'm going to go left to right. So I'm going to do 3 times 4 first, and then I'm going to do 25 divided by 5. So 3 times 4 is 12. 25 divided by 5 is 5. And this is all over 14. 
12 minus 5, we, we know 12 minus 5 is 7, because 5 plus 7 is, uh, I'm sorry, is that right? Yeah, because 5 plus 7 is 12. Yeah, we had done that earlier. Sorry, I was looking at 14, that was, it threw me off. So uh, 12 minus 5 is 7, 7 over 14, which reduces to 1 over 2. And there's my answer. So that is it. So hopefully at this point, when you're working through, if you've been working through all these videos, this should have been, for the most part, pretty straightforward. Maybe there's a little bit that you're kind of like a little uncertain on, and these videos helped you to clarify. But at this point, I think you guys should be pretty good with this. Any course, any case, uh, we are actually done. Um, I, ho I hope that this helped to make this, this was clear. <laughs> <laughs> this was clear and transparent and helped you guys really to really understand this material. Uh, again, always feel free to look back on these videos if you're confused about a topic. And in addition, always feel free to email me or send me a comment and I will make a follow-up video or I will talk to you directly in terms of helping you solve a math problem. In any case, I hope this worked out well. I hope you enjoyed this, this course, and uh, maybe I'll see you in the next math video.